2012 was a record-breaking year for the Sunlight Foundation. The 2012 elections kept us busier than ever, using our data, real-time trackers, and journalistic investigations to keep citizens informed on the impact of dark money and super PACs. The first presidential campaign since the Citizens United decision led to a historical amount of spending on federal races and even included more than $300 million, which went undisclosed. Sunlight galvanized more calls for disclosure of election-related campaign spending and attracted a lot of attention from the media. Using technology like our app Ad Hoc, we kept voters aware of who was paying for the flood of political ads. And Political Ad Sleuth, which we created together with Free Press, engaged the media to help us track that money. We continue to advance and shape all major legislative actions relating to money and politics. Our draft legislation, the Super PAC Act, helped prompt the reintroduction of the Disclosed Act. We were also instrumental in shaping the Stocked Act, which President Obama signed into law this spring. As always, we continued our ongoing mission to open up the everyday political process with tools like Scout that alerts you on actions that federal regulators, Congress, or your state legislator take on an issue or a specific bill. We expanded globally, collaborating with OpenGov and transparency groups across the world. We launched our first major partnership for global transparency policy norms, convening dozens of groups to draft a declaration on parliamentary transparency and created OpeningParliament.org to serve as a hub for the network. More than 100 organizations have already signed on. Transparency Camp doubled its size in 2012, bringing together over 400 people from more than 30 countries and 26 states to get creative about the present and future of government transparency. We hosted and participated in gatherings from coffee shops to Capitol Hill. We also highlighted individuals who worked to open up their local governments and their communities in our OpenGov Champion series. This year, we launched Sunlight Academy, a portal for reporters and citizens to learn how to use tools by us and others to unlock government data. Our APIs really took off this year, fielding hundreds of millions of calls from thousands of users and allowing you to adapt our data to take on the challenges you care about. We rolled out the last two of our national data apps. We launched the Open States mobile app and continue to build out the web platform for all 50 states. We help bridge the digital divide by introducing an offline service, Call on Congress, that connects citizens to elected officials over the phone and lets you find out how your representatives are voting and raising money. Our popular Polit Whoops recovers deleted tweets from politicians, exposing sometimes revealing gaps that they would rather hide from the public. What this year's events confirmed to us is that people want to know more in real time. Who is spending money in our elections and who's trying to influence our votes? We had a big role in helping citizens follow the money and empowering them to make informed decisions unaffected by the downpour of advertising paid for the shadowy groups and individuals. And we led the fight for open government data at all levels of government, believing that sunlight is not only the best disinfectant, but that it provides the information that citizens need to hold their government accountable. And we couldn't have done that without your help. Keep fighting with us to keep our political process and our government in sunlight.